Today we are filming our scandal party. So we want to thank Shonda Rhimes for Thursday nights. Thursday nights have became Shonda night. <laughs> We've decided to have a Real Women Reveal scandal party so that we can discuss some of the issues that take place in scandal. Scandal isn't just about a black woman dating a white man. That seems to be what we hear in adultery, although that is a big part of it. Scandal has a lot of issues and stories within Scandal. Um, for instance, um, the voting. We knew a little bit about that. To me, it recalls in Florida uh, when our one of our former presidents were in office. So there's a lot of issues that are in Scandal. But we will be discussing some of the scandals that have taken place with the real women revealed. They are fessing up on their scandals. So you must stay tuned to watch that and how transparent these ladies are to show how they've grown from their scandalous <laughs> activities um, to the woman that they are now. So some of their stories will be helping not only all of us here, but other women. I also want to make sure you stop by our social media pages, Real Women Revealed. We have Real Women Revealed Boutique Store and More. It's one of the dresses from the boutique. Um, and just come by and stop by and let us know about some of the segments, how you feel on them, let, feel about them. Let us hear some of your comments. Um, make sure you subscribe to the Real Women Revealed YouTube page. Tell us about some of your experiences. Are any of those relevant to what you may have going on? And we just want to hear about it. We would love to come to your city and do a taping. So stay tuned for some of the scandalous Real Women Revealed stories that you're about to hear. And make sure to check us out again on social media pages. So let's talk about Nelly. That would have been Mally. Yeah. Because Mally, Mally, Nelly, Smelly Nelly, or whatever you call it. That's what he calls her. Smelly. 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 So ladies, so ladies, I have some real issues with her. Why? I do have some issues with her because well, in, that's the, not in her the first love. She didn't because love. in the first season, she when Olivia quit, she went and begged Olivia to come, oh, back. To come back. She begged you. Olivia to come back. She wanted a woman that she knew her husband was in love with to come back and still work. Because she, she, had because she was in love with the other guy. She had her own agenda. Yeah. Her, her own right. agenda right. is power. Right. Her own right. agenda yeah. is power. power. Right. So she wanted her husband so to be happy. Her we her need Olivia right. because we need you to uh, run the to country. Run the country. Right. And right. I need to be the first lady. First right. Right. So my issue, I had an issue with that then. So, so you want... So what does that say about a woman to say, okay, well, I know he's sleeping with her. Oh, I don't really want to know, but he's sleeping with her, but it's keeping us happy because it's keeping this white house over my head or whatever. See, that's why I have an issue with she her. knew he would walk away. He wanted to. If she mm -hmm. knew he was going to walk away. She yeah. knew several times mm -hmm. that he wanted to give up the presidency mm -hmm. uh, because of her, but she was not having it. Okay. She did she not want to have that. Time. So that's why I say... And she as ruins it for a, for, for a first lady. She is it's like, you as are much a as, mess. As much as I would see, you know, the adultery part of it or him and Olivia, the president and Olivia, my issue still, be, that was one of my issues with her to say, well, as a woman, because power, power mm -hmm. was her thing. Yeah. So you want, you, you, you don't want to see it, but you know what's going on. So is that okay? So it's okay? I think they kind of, I think it's shown, I don't know if people pay attention to me as much as the first lady as they pay attention to, oh, the adultery part, oh, a black woman sleeping with a white woman, or, I mean, a black man, they want to show that. What about, what about the, the first lady? How was she acting? But I mean, I she wasn't sense. a victim. I, I mean, I don't look at her as a victim. No, I don't look. Oh, she's I, a willing, she is for, yeah, not she's a a willing participant yeah. in all of this. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't look at her as a victim. I look at her as, well, what is that portraying as a woman to say, oh, well, we're giving a man, because sometimes as women, we will give the okay in a sense. Mm -hmm. There's women that has been, may not be us in here, 
but there are women who know that their man cheats and well I, if I don't see it if I don't if he don't bring it to me and all of that then it's okay so you may know he's doing it when he's coming back with his overnight bag <laughs> <laughs> that, but that, right, that he's gone and cheating but you're okay with it so that shows up in the first lady on scandal that she knows what was going on but it was okay but, but you know what just like you said when you gave yourself five years it took you five uh -huh. years to make that decision you right. even had your mind made up that when my child Get mm -hmm. out of school. Mm -hmm. People plan things around their kids. They do. Yeah. So, however old those kids are now, or however much longer he has in the presidency, that's probably what she's waiting for. Yes. That to end yeah. because she don't want to bring all that stuff to the White House and cause all of this stuff now. So she has to. Her own sanity is her she's insanity. Wow. <laughs> you know, in reality. So she's accepting it mm -hmm. because she don't, in a sense, she don't want to jeopardize everything. Because if she mm -hmm. were to put him on blast like she said she was, that, that, uh -huh. she were they going down? Go? She did. Right. Mm -hmm. She going down too. Oh no, she's got going down, down too. Too. Go ahead. Um, from the first season, she was already checked out by the time Fitz got with Olivia. I think it was like 10 years they hadn't had sex or whatever before. Right, I remember right. they went yeah. back when yeah. he yeah. said 10 years. But since they kind of shut up the Is that okay? No, that's but you know what? But, well, you, <laughs> but, you, but you know why? But you know why? Oh, because Which we didn't, but we didn't know oh. that. Oh. I know we didn't. That's the right. thing. We didn't. Right. That's about, right. about her dad. About her father-in-law. Her father-in-law did. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. So she, she, had, she had already checked out prior to Olivia, and then Olivia comes along, and she's olivia made him into a more confident man mm -hmm. nobody come on now nobody wants this little wimpy willy around <laughs> and she saw that he made her that she wasn't she was already checked out of the marriage so it was like well crap if i got raped by your father already mm -hmm. i don't know who this son is if it's gonna be your dad's uh, or yours mm -hmm. i'm already checked out if she gonna at least get you here then Let's i don't think, i don't think i don't think it was a power call it was a it was an agreement from John. Right, it was yeah. an agreement. They, 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 they were, they were, who? Yeah. Her, his father. Yeah. Her yeah. That was an agreement. Oh, you just wanted to get into the White House. Well, I remember that at the table. But that's still power. 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 That I think that's cultural. I don't think that's power. Oh, because oh, right. we, right. right. we didn't marry for love. That's not true. We didn't <laughs> marry for love. They married to keep the money in the, in, in the oh. family. But she so was that was that was prearranged at the bar. Yeah, <laughs> she was in love with it. I, I, I don't, until I don't know. Father did what he did. I think right. she was. Yeah. I mean, I think. I don't know how yeah, much in love I think we took. I think she was still in the plan. I, 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 I agree. That's what, that's what I agree a bit with that. I would say. I would say I agree a bit with. I agree a bit with that. It was like a business plan. A business plan. And again, remember, she's an attorney too. That was right because she kept saying she gave up her career. I gave up this. I gave up that. Right. That was right. Wow. So it was all about well, I'll give up. I'll give up this. We for this because I'm right here with it, but we can be right here with it. Right, right. So that's yes, business, but it's still about it's still about power in a sense. Uh, 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 sense uh, yeah, it was about power and control because remember she wanted to run for president. She was like, I will bury you. Oh, and I'll run for president, and I'll have all the women on my side. America will love me. Yeah, Because at one point she really was articulating the fact that she wanted to have the better. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't mm -hmm. like a hidden thing. At one point she really was articulating mm -hmm. like, no, you got to come on, Libby. You got to come back. You got to do this so right. we can do this. And I can be in my position right. to do what I, I need, need to do. To do. Right. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's not my song. That's 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 so it was, yeah, it was all strategic. <laughs> it was very strategic. Right. Well planned out um, in doing that. And I think sometimes relationships, do we get into relationships in a very strategic way? Mm -hmm. As maybe not... And I won't say all younger women because I do know, man, this is a different type of younger woman than I. When I was 21, the women that women that I meet now that are 21, to me, are totally different. Yeah. Oh, I thought, ah, you know, it's a whole. But it seems yeah. more strategic from the women that I talk to as they've gotten older. Mm -hmm. 
they've become more strategic. Yeah. That maybe when I was 25, I wasn't as strategic. Oh, I liked him, he was cute, and we, we, we had some chemistry or whatever. But it seems us older women that I've talked to, maybe I'll just say maybe that 40-ish point or getting to 40 or over, over 40 is very strategic. Why? Well, but I wouldn't even I wouldn't say it's even strategic because this young lady here, she's already got her mind up, mind made up that marriage it it, it may not be for me. Mm -hmm. You know, so you recognizing that she focusing on her own self and most young kids or teenagers or when we get into our twenties and thirties, you having a connection, you want to be tied to somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, and now the women today are a little bit more self-absorbed we want we want to try to get what we can get for ourselves and nobody can take it away from us and 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 um, it's not about it's even the women who want to have children without being married you know without having a man in their life it's about taking that control it's the independence it's the, in, it's the full independence now and I, don't yeah, want, but I think to Audrey's point what she's saying is when a woman does in her 40s or mm -hmm. does decide she's gonna marry that you know it's like okay we gotta check some things off because this right. is what I'm bringing to the table. We gotta make sure you're bringing oh. something to the table. table. Right. Right. I think it's a more that's that, that's okay, something. That it's way. more okay. not necessarily business. everything. It's, it's more business you know, just like yeah. you said uh, yeah. uh, with the first lady yeah. from Scandal. It was business, business sometimes. Yeah. You you kinda take all the <gasps> out of it. Not to say it's not there. But I just think as you get older, and especially if you've experienced, and I'm just, I will give some of my personal um, experience or opinions on that. I just think after a first marriage, you sit back and look mm -hmm. at yourself. What did I do wrong? Right. Why did I marry? Should mm -hmm. I should have done it at this time? You know, you think about your mistakes, and I think there's regrets that go along. Mm -hmm. you, get, you get caught up sometimes in regret. Mm -hmm. Um, so you look at it that way. So the second time around, you may, or I, I may, I've looked at marriage a different way. Mm -hmm. I didn't necessarily just say, okay, I'm going all in, you know, eyes shut, right. you know. Right. They're not going to be shut this time. This time I right. need to see clearly, right. you know, no forage for the trees. I'm not just going to jump in like that <clears throat> because I need to be happy for me. Just like you said, mm -hmm. I want to be, I want to be happy for me. It's you know, sometimes you get caught up in marriage, and I know I did. A lot of things I want to be the best wife, the best mother. You know what I'm saying? I left a lot of what Audrey wanted to do on the back burner. So sometimes now you see Audrey doing so much. Of what It wasn't new what I'm doing. It's always been there. It's just that I suppress what I want to do mm. because I wanted to be the best wife or the best, really, even over the best wife, the best mother uh that i want to be so you put some of those things on hold so that's why i was just saying the second time just like you said felicia you look at things a little bit differently what do you ladies think as being young women yeah like, what do you think about marriage are you guys ready for marriage well i'm married oh, oh you're okay. married okay how old are you if you don't mind i just turned 28. oh okay okay, okay. But, um i've only been married since february so. okay well, 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 Congratulations. So how long did you guys date before you got married? Um, about two years. Two years? Yeah. And are you, did you meet him out here or you guys moved out to Phoenix um, or? We're from Mississippi originally. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh -oh. I, uh, I actually met him at the airport. I was living in Florida at the time. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, man, man, yeah, those connections. You gotta meet people. Or you just can't. Ooh. I think we <laughs> talked Ebony and think of one another conversation part. You gotta meet people you gotta go out. everywhere. And we oh, to yeah. me, for me, we live in neighboring cities. I could be <laughs> only in California in three hours. Right. So if it's not in Phoenix, then venture out. I don't I mean, some people don't feel that a long distance relationship they need them right there, but I'm all for long right. distance with relationships. I am all for. But it. what are your thoughts about the marriage and like the infidelity? Like, mm -hmm. does that does that even play a role in your mind? Does that even come up? Do you even think about things like that, or do you necessarily think about the relationship that you and your husband formed? Most of it is the relationship that we formed. Um, I just don't see him as an infidel. But some of it, like the part that she was saying, kind of about like karma and stuff. Like for me, because I've been where I've been with a married man and didn't even know he was married, you know, younger and, you know, why to take wow. advantage of and stuff as a young, you know, and like, you got a wife or, So you did know. you see the signs after you look back? I know I'm kind of jumping. Um, 
that you look back after you yeah, found out that you see that. I mean, at like, you know, 24, 25, you really not really, you know, now. so you may be looking at something totally different. Like, right. mm -hmm. so, yeah, you know, yeah. if it's traveling or, you know, if he has, you know, no nice things or, you know, so much older than you or something like that. So for me, I did feel a part of, and kind of the same thing, like she was saying, you know, there are some women who would just be like, you know, I don't care you married, you know, exactly. like, keep paying my bills. Yeah, but I'm like, right. me, I was never <laughs> given the option to say, yeah, yeah I'm right with her. No, I was just kind of, you know, okay. lied to from, so that did put like a really sour taste in my mouth for, you know, like for marriage in general, I'm like, well, there's no point of being married. Like, you know, I thought you were a nice guy, you lying, you got a whole family. So I think for me, like when I met my husband, it was random. Like I, you know, wasn't even really prepared for it. But I think a lot of stuff that I did maybe go through like that makes me feel like I don't have such a, you know, I don't look at my marriage like, eventually this is going to happen or something you like don't that. think about yeah. those things yeah, yeah. and yeah you don't want to bring that into the atmosphere anyway yeah. um uh, on that you know what if what if well mm. congratulations on that so 28 what about you ebony how old are you 29 29 mm -hmm. that 30 that i remember you know getting getting ready to turn 30 that's like a whole and I was the 30s was great yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 30s were great i mean you know <laughs> Married and divorced at at twenty five. Yeah, because of the young married. Right. Okay. okay. Sometimes yeah. the young marriage. Yeah. Uh, right out of college, got married, and I was like, ugh. What did that do? And I was, <laughs> and I, I was like, this ain't for me. I'm done. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So, we also with 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 Mally. The first lady, Smelly Mel. That was Smelly <laughs> When he, he called her to Smelly Smelly, that was okay. Smelly he's, he's mad at her. I know he was mad. So what about you, <clears throat> though, thinking, remember, though, remember how Olivia felt? Remember when uh, you found out that she was uh, cheating with the guy? Remember her daughter? What was it? He had just named him, um, he didn't oh, name him vice president. What did he name him? Oh, yeah, that guy that was going to be his What did he name him? He had just... Yeah, it was vice president. Oh, that, that was oh, yeah. And then the daughter, then, then yeah. his daughter uh, found out, and then remember uh, the president Fitz went and socked the guy when he mm -hmm. was in a meeting after he found out. And I remember how like Olivia that. felt like, oh, you going to protect your wife, right. but over here you still, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's like, okay, you love me, but why are you upset? That your wife is sleeping around, and you've been sleeping with me. You know, you remember, you remember that scene. Yeah. How, how that made her feel? Yeah. Because that's the triangle. That's, that's, that's the double standard. That's yeah. the triangle. That's the triangle. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, that's the triangle because, as much as you saw that she didn't want to try to break it off or whatever around that time when he went and hit the vice president, the guy when he found out he was sleeping with her. You see how it made, you know, it, it's a double standard, but that that's like being just caught up. What what's his, What is he supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Well, I think it was a double standard that was realized for not only Olivia, but also Melly. Because Melly was like, this is my happiness. I'm fine. Why? Happy. She was mad at him. Why won't you just let yeah. me be happy? Like, you're you doing won't it all the time. Like, I gave you free reign. Right. And right. yet... I can't have my pizza happy now. Right. So, so it's, it's kind of right. Different. It's the whole, you know, the who who said that? I can't think of it was something I was watching. Like the control, like the man, the control. He the president, so he want to have the full control over his wife and his. Now there's I I will not put anybody on blast, but I <laughs> but I have known women who have been in a cheating situation and he was married and they actually was following his like like he like i'm i'm dating somebody that's married and he comes in and you know dinner done you know you're doing all these things <laughs> oh you're you know, acting like wifey act, yeah. acting like wifey mm -hmm. he's controlling two households right. he's controlling his married household but he's also also controlling his household where he's committing adultery mm -hmm. I've, I've seen it i've seen it I've seen it, and I, I don't, and just like Carmen said, well, he paying my bills, mm -hmm. because that's where a lot of it will come in. Well, he's paying my bills, or he's, you know, taking care of me, so it doesn't matter, because I'm getting what I need out of the relationship, and I don't have to deal with them, or, or some women feel, they be lying. 
Some women, I, some I, women feel you, that it's, 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 it's the women to do with each other. On, on the surface, like, oh yeah, he's paying my bills and he's doing this for me and now nah, I already know he got this going on, yada, 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 but in the same breath, how dare he, like, no, if he's there to pay your bills, then cut them emotions off and let them bills get paid. And she is. That's easy like, said. Don't, don't, don't be about that. Don't be about that. Don't be about that. That's easy to say. That's what you mess up at. When, because it, 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 eventually it's going to happen. You're going to get some type of emotion in there, some type of feeling. But right. well, my yeah. thing is, is that don't. You have that in mind in the beginning. Make sure you keep it in mind. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, you will not run that household and this one, but you will pay these bills if we're gonna be we're gonna be together. We're gonna do this and that. Okay, you still will pay these bills. But, oh no, you're not running this household. Where's my money at? You know what I'm saying? Have you done this before? No. You know what I'm girl, saying? Girl, that's, where, that's, where, that's, where, yeah. really, that's where I'm at now. Not do, doing any of that, mm -hmm. but. If I was a, approached a situation like that, you know what I'm saying? God, only thing you can do for me is pay my bills and you can keep it moving. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, no emotion, no nothing. But see, really because it was not ordained for us to be like that. Once you attach yourself to a man, Ooh. Mm -hmm. sexually, Sexual. he, has a, he has a power mm -hmm. over you. Mm -hmm. And that's for real, on a Christian standpoint, mm -hmm. that is for real. He has a power over you. You've given yourself to him and he was not yours. He's not yours. If you're not married to him, he's not yours. Right. That's all too. And vice versa, so that exactly. they know that too. Exactly. Well, my question comes into play. That that let me let me say this. That goes into <clears throat> we were talking about earlier. I don't know if we were on camera or off camera. <laughs> but that's given a lot. Because even being married, like you were talking, Felicia, I'm just not gonna just lay it all on the line. I mean just lay it all for you. So I know if I'm a girlfriend. You trust you're not getting half of what you get because I still pull new tricks out for my husband. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to know everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just because we married and definitely <laughs> not because I'm a girlfriend, mm -hmm. you'll never get the full advantage. You'll never get the full 100% of me as a girlfriend. Right. For me. What is a girlfriend? I will never I... be 100% as a girlfriend. I'm, that's just me. What I can't what is a girlfriend? Cheating girlfriend? No, not, not cheating. Yes. No, I'm not talking about cheating. I'm talking about like in a relationship. In a relationship. Okay. You know, maybe if I and I'm I'm saying cuz I can't think of anything right at the top of my head. I may want to have my husband's dinner ready every day. If I'm a girlfriend, that expectation is not for me. Right. You will not have dinner oh, every yeah, day right, right, as right, a girlfriend. Right, right, I will right. not be washing your clothes every right, day right, as right, a girlfriend. Right. I will not, certain things I'm just not going to do mm -hmm. because that's the old that's saying, you pay him, why you buy the cow, the cow right. you get the milk for yeah, free. Right. So you're not going to get all this. And I think sometimes women try to, oh, I'm going to do all this, I'm going to do all this, I'm going to give you all, 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 because I'm going to you in. You're not. What the women are thinking mm -hmm. if I don't do it, somebody else will, right. or he'll be like, He'll never marry me if I don't do this. If I don't wash his clothes, now you're gonna be like, And that's your self esteem because if you feel that, know. if you feel that, oh, I gotta do this because this I'm gonna get him, or if he won't marry me because I won't do this, that's your own lack of self worth of who you are. If he won't get with you just because you're not cooking every day, then step, yeah, then right, baffling shit. Not you, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> right. It'll but, be why, that. but why can't Olivia just go ahead and be with Jake then? I mean, she she she's trying. She's, she's trying. trying. She's she's trying. trying. She's trying. She's she's but to me, she's, she's saying for me. Right. She's she's right. Saying, she's but to, saying, but to, but to me, she's the single. She came yeah. back because of uh, what's going on. Yeah. But to me, I'll say this. Single means single. Single means single. If you're single, you can date people. If I say I'm single, don't expect, if you happen to see me at dinner with somebody else, you just yeah. happen to see me at dinner with somebody, because I'm single. Right. I'm see, I may be seeing somebody, you, or somebody, that's single. So I respect somebody, a person, if I, if I was single and I met them and like, yeah, I'm okay. single, whatever, I'm dating. Mm -hmm. Then hey, you're dating. You're not right. obligated to me and nor right. am I obligated to you because we are single. Right. 
that you know i think women we soon as we meet somebody we want to start putting up okay well we can't put these labels right. when you meet you have to give it time to grow and to see uh, i think we get caught up in, in that right away yeah we definitely get and caught up in this girlfriend thing you know i don't want to be anybody because girl, a girl a girlfriend is not is, is just what it is you heard you're supposed to be my friend right we took it and made it something more and it's not you're right. just simply this person's girlfriend and to be a girlfriend really all you need to do you have to you don't even have to lay down with this person because he's just your friend i'm a girl you're my i'm i'm your girlfriend I, who you hang out with we can have a good time together go out you go to your place i go to mine there's no sex involved that's a girlfriend what what is it called? Is there a label if you decide to take it to another level mm -hmm. and say I want to be in a then, committed relationship but not really? Then be that? careful about being committed to somebody to the point where, for instance, some people like they say is um, I've been in this relationship for two years and you never talked about marriage and never talk to me. That's not a commitment. You're just you just yeah. You know, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to lay down with this man and he is not committed to you. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you better want something more than just being, you know, you spend that much time with a man. You better want something more than that. Then you need to approach a situation and let him ask him or tell him. Has, any, has anybody team? gave anybody an ultimatum in here? She just made me think of she that. She said she did remember. Oh, you said, oh, ultimatum. But you were married. You had a knapsack. You no, this right. is <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. You did. My bad. My bad. Because, like I said, we were living together. Yeah. And I was doing everything that a wife was supposed to do. And that was because... I wanted to at that time, but then it gets old. Mm. It gets old and old and old and old and old, and you just stretch yourself so much mm. to where you just get tired. It's either you're gonna marry me or you're not gonna marry me. And and as I think back, is as I think now, that was wrong. That's why the marriage didn't. So anybody gave anybody ultimatum before we get ready to end up on some stuff? Anybody ever gave anybody now ultimatum? I know. She <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ultimatum? You get yeah. <laughs> and how did that work out? Like it was supposed to. Because why should I have to tell you what you're supposed to do or how to feel? You know? If we're feeling the way and it's the feeling is not mutual, then if you're not in a position to grow to be my husband, wow. if we're not on a roll, yeah. all roles are lead to down the to aisle. Mm -hmm. And if we're not that's leading true. down the aisle, then it's not going to work. Yeah. And that's at my you phase. Wasted your time. That's my phase where I'm at in life. So I. I so what do we want to see with Scandal? What do we want to see? We want to see Olivia with Jake or Olivia with the President. I want to see Olivia get herself together. Thank you. Okay. I want to see Olivia okay. get to know Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. What about us seeing yeah. that? Because she gets she to know herself with that wine. She goes through a bottle of wine, don't she? She a two hundred dollar bottle of wine. We're trying to fix everybody else and fix herself. That's the problem. She had a shot in normal. She did not want it. She, she leaves that. She right. doesn't want yeah. normalcy. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. want yeah. She want that, she want that, little, that little streamline of drama. It's got to stay on Wait, the air. Then? So, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, look, 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 <laughs> I think she I think she fixes everybody else so she don't have to look at herself. Yes, wow. Wow. Yeah. Let, that's true. Yeah. Let, yeah. let me yeah. let me fix everybody so I don't have to worry about that. Well, remember she had issues, you know, she had you know issues with her, her parents, her mother, yes. thinking her right. mother was dead. Yeah, yeah. Mother was dead. Yeah. 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 Her dad. Yeah. It just kind of came up all over. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Yeah. 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 Like, her therapy session is that red wine. That's and wake up and it's a new day. You better get it together. Right. Right. So what else? What else? Let's go around. Cece, what you? Oh, you? She didn't watch Scandal. We are gonna get her on Scandal in a minute. Okay, Pat, what you want to see with Scandal? What would you like to see? I'd like to see that this season. I haven't watched this season yet. Oh, you haven't watched the season yet? Not, not this season. Okay. So I'm looking forward to watching this season. Okay. What do you, what What are you looking forward to seeing? What would you like want, to see? I want it to go off the air. Oh, do you? Oh, man. So why is that? Because I, you know, not only that, not only a bad example. It's just a scandal. What it is? It's something for us to. Like for instance, this time scandal is going off or something. 
If it's even, is it coming on tonight? Oh, What's I still DVR. I'm okay, sorry. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, to me, well, I wanted to go off the air because we really should have more times like this. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because really, when I came here, I want to cry, oh. but I don't want to do it on camera. Before I came, no, we had people I was crying really, on camera time. <laughs> I was really in a bad place before I came here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it took me a long time to get here. Yeah. So I was really wondering if it was something like this that I could get into. When you said that the other that the other day, I was like, wow. You know, I was really interested well, in that. Thank you, Carl. You know what I'm saying? Thank so you. It's a good person. It was it was this wasn't around. This was not happening. Right. You know, and I wanted something like this to happen. You oh, know. My where we, we are hanging <laughs> oh. That makes me crazy. That's a whole real personal testimony. That was the testimony. Sorry about the tears. Oh no, that's real. That's what we do. That's when you come when you come to a new place and you and you come into a new place mentally and you trying to leave all that behind. All behind. And you feel like you by yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got to all have our own. I get it. I get it. But guess what? You in your new space. You where you supposed to be. And we got you. And you just walk in it. You just walk in it. But it's it's about that. It's about having people. Who will not judge you? Yeah. And who not judgmental. Want to be there. So when we think so, yeah. about what we don't like and what we see in our mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. us, let's start being our, our sister's keeper again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, let's start being better friends. Right. Let's start talking about our issues that we may have and air those things out and be unafraid. Because ultimately, we don't need to walk around with all that hurt. It's right. a lot of baggage yeah. that go on with women right. every day, yeah. and you yeah. don't know it just by looking. Right. It's That's a lot. True. Mm -hmm. So what you want to see? What with scandal? <laughs> I've only watched maybe probably three or four episodes. I still got a little catching up. To okay, <laughs> but um, the catch up is fun. When you get I want to, I want to see uh, the president. Uh, I want to see him be set free, mm. free of um, uh, the baggage with Stanky Nelly and Tate <laughs> Smelly and <Nelly>. going to <laughs> cemetery. <laughs> In her, uh, in her boots, in her, her role, you know, I want him to um, uh, be free. Just be free. Not, not be free to be with. Uh, I know what you're saying. With her, a living woman, but just to, to be, be free, free for himself, himself. so he can work on himself and and not have to worry about the, working on the country. Right, because I don't know what kind of president That's he's being because right. he got a lot of stuff going. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess they do. We never know. Mm -hmm. We'll go. Carmen, what about you? What you want to see? Um, I would like them to bring God into their life, you know, form some type of um, way of when they release in it, they're praying that some, you know, that a higher power, a higher spirit mm -hmm. comes in and cleanses me and they recognize that we can't. We can't, we can't walk, you know, we, if we were to die today, we are not going to heaven with this that we've been left behind, you know, the legacy that we've left behind. And that's just, in, just bringing it in conversation. And I think that Olivia and her father, they both need to have counseling. And I think Olivia is a good is a good person, and she means well by other people, mm -hmm. but she's not surrounded by other people who mean would challenge God. her and mean well for her. It's like every time somebody calls on Olivia, it's all about what can you do for me, Olivia? You know, it's an issue. So I'd like to see a relationship like Red is starting to check her. You know, she's mad at her. Oh, she's yeah. the only one who has really stepped up to Olivia. Because they were friends. Right, they were. Right, right. So right. Before, but I want to her to be centered around more people who is willing to tell her that she's wrong. Okay. And that she can be better. She's a better woman than this. Okay, so being yeah. our sister's keeper. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay, Felicia. Well, look, I don't have no drama in my life. So you want? I know the scandal to continue. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I wanted to continue too. <laughs> I mean, just because it's a show. They yeah, talk yeah. about making money. They right. want people to watch it. They wanted to make it exciting, so they have to put drama in it. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it could be real life things it's happening. Not y'all love on a whole fix lot of shows. Life. It's a lot of real things happening. Yeah. What they do need to do is watch this on YouTube. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Olivia don't know which way you the real women go, but okay. they, they need, need to have here. that. They yeah, need okay. to have that. So, the so the let's um, give a shout out to her writing and write that in there. Right. Okay. Oh, we can see. give her some drama too, because right. we have a whole yeah. lot of scandal she going on for real life already. Right. It's right. a lot. All right, Patrice. Yeah, I'd like to see it continue because you know I don't watch a lot of TV, but Thursday night. Jake running around town killing people. Well, you <laughs> know, that's part of the storyline. It's complicated. It's just complicated. That's what, Ebony? Nobody knows Jake has balls. Like, <laughs> on, on the one side, because Jake is always just a nice, neat, yeah, clean, he brought nice guy. Yeah, he brought Okay. He's nice. 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 You know, enough of a chance to be like, yo, I'm I'm the best of both worlds. Yeah. Like, I just know how to treat you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and he remember and he was like, saying something about the boyfriend. Who you were talking about boyfriend? Remember on the show he kept saying, What's a boyfriend? Right, remember right, something right, like right, that? Right, he was right. kind of getting with her. Right, right, What's yeah. a boyfriend? Right. Okay. And Courtney. Um, and oh, I did I see an Angie? I'm sorry, Angie. I went to Ebony. We'll come back up and scoop it up. I just want to help to get back with his family. Oh, oh. 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 I feel like he deserves his family back. Wow. wow. Happy ending of all. Yeah. 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 Some happy ending. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't really care about yeah. living your love life anymore. Oh. It's, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, I was over it like last season. So oh. I think she'll be back. So Huck, yeah. I, I'm a Huck fan, actually. Yeah. I think that's why they had to write that part in there. Yeah. Like, we're getting tired of uh, Yeah, it's like thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's, let's switch it up. Right. right. What about you, Angela? I think I want to see Olivia happy, because I don't really feel like she is. And, She's not happy. No. And, I, you know, secretly, I do like seeing that connection with her and the president because of the chemistry. And it might just be because in my own life, like I'm a single woman, I don't really have that. And so seeing that, the dynamics between the two of them is like exciting for me to See, watch. we get stuff by about watching. Like you said, you yeah. don't yeah. have drama yeah. in your life, yeah. so it's a little bit of drama. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. that's what we get. Wow. That's why it's running because all over the United States, over the world, everybody's getting some out of it by looking. Mm -hmm. It may not be the same thing, but everybody. we're getting some out of everybody. I didn't want to Chanel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for some new developments to unfold. I'm ready to be shocked. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you just want to It's a full scandal, but yeah. just something new. I want to see something, something new. Else. I kind of want to see, wanna see the agency get back together. I kind of want to see. I want to see a new character kind of come in and shake things up a little bit. You know. So what? Everybody coming into the White House for the president, right? Well, we what about the, um, Well, what I want to see, I do want to see. Um, I want to see scandal continue. I would like to see scandal continue. I would like to see Olivia at her best. I just want to see her at her best, and I don't think we have her at her best because she got these men convoluting her brain a little bit whether it's Jake or whatever it's who I just like Olivia I like to see the little bit I like to see women just handling their business right. going in the White House That's handling right. business and walking out with that bad coat on because I'll be looking at the fashion on there that she has is off the chain so Olivia coming in there Coming in there and just running things oh, and just right, being the right. best her. That's what I want to see. Her being the best her and continue running things and maybe meeting somebody down the line or whatever. I just want her to just be the baddest. I want to see her smile. You more. know, 
This will just be the be in her back. And we gonna get CC hooked on it. Uh, <laughs> we gonna get CC hooked on Scandal. So we do want to see, we do need Olivia Pope on Real Women Reveal Couch. We need her, so I, I, I like that, Tamir. So uh, maybe we'll have another Scandal party, a follow-up or whatever, have some fellas in it. Cause I think fellas, Ooh. men bring a whole oh, nother take yeah. to what the take would be. So like this part one, all women, what do the fellas think? of the president and Olivia, you know, that whole relationship, They're everything envious. we talk, talk about. <laughs> 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 oh, men watch, men watch, men watch, they be watching, like, they be watching from over there, like, watch, they watch it, they watch it, they have it. We got one more before we put the camera down, go ahead, T. No, me and Byron, he tastes it. And we sit and, and discuss it yeah, and argue about it. And we sit and, and watch it. He is so into yeah. it. Yeah. And, and he watches it too. Like yeah. tonight, mm -hmm. he's like, I'm gonna wait until you get here to watch it together. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you do have you do, no, you do have those conversations about it with your partner or your spouse or whatever about what's going on. Well, I appreciate y'all hanging out at the Real Women Reveal Scandal Party. Hopefully, we'll do it again. I really want to do it with the fellas. Okay. Yeah. I really yeah. want to do it with the fellas just to we see our significant others and let's see what they feel about it. What is, is, is their take like our take? Mm -hmm. You know, or is it like totally, totally different? <laughs> So, we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna watch too much because I make it to thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real women rebuild, scandal party. Scandal party. Hi, my name's Audrey Jenkins. I am the CEO, founder, and facilitator of Real Women Reveal LLC, and I am also the co-director of House of Miracles, a transitional facility for adult women and men in the early stages of recovery. We do focus on with our women, um, just not drug addiction recovery, but also through domestic violence and homelessness. So we try to be of assistance to the women in more than just realm of recovery.